This is The Warriors Come Out to Play, a cooperative survival game by Prospero Hall. Work together to make it back to your home turf on Coney Island while fighting rival gangs and increasing your reputation. Defeat the top gang in a final showdown to win. Here's how to play. Set up the game as shown in the instructions. The game has two phases, the fight phase and the city phase. The game starts off with a fight phase at Van Cortlandt Park. All players take part in the first fight phase. In future fights, only warriors in the same neighborhood as the instigator join the fight. The player with the instigator token takes the first turn and players continue taking turns until they win the fight or all players in the fight are knocked out. On each turn, you're trying to cover a spot on the face-up gang or location tile. There are two kinds of spots, weapons and numbers. To cover a weapon spot, you can use a matching weapon that you have in front of you, or you can play an any weapon war card and, using the weapon shown, cover any weapon spot. When you use a weapon, whether to cover a spot or to use a war card, flip it face down. You can't use that weapon card again during this fight. To cover a number spot, you can play war cards to roll dice, as shown in the top left corner of each card. You can play any number of war cards from your hand. Some war cards also have a special ability, as described on the card. If you play a card like this, you can use that weapon to get one extra die. When you're done playing cards, roll the dice. You can never roll more than five dice. Taking the highest number you rolled, you may cover one spot that's the same number or lower. After you cover a spot, discard any war cards you played, and it's the next player's turn. You can only cover one spot each turn. If you didn't cover a spot on your turn, you are knocked out. Discard any war cards you played and choose one card in your hand to remove from the game. If you have no cards left in your hand, choose a card from your discard pile to remove. If you are knocked out, your turns are skipped for the rest of this fight. Any remaining players still in the fight continue taking turns. To win the fight, the players need to cover both spots on the gang tile and one spot on the location tile for each player who was in the fight, whether or not they were knocked out. If the gang you're fighting is higher than you on the reputation track, you need to cover an additional reputation spot on the location tile. If all the required spots are covered, the warriors win the fight. Move the gang leader of the gang you fought to the bottom of the reputation track and move the other gang leaders up to fill the empty space. Then remove the defeat tokens, place the gang tile face up on the bottom of the stack and reveal a new gang tile. If all players in the fight are knocked out before the spots are covered, the Warriors lose the fight. Move the Warriors gang leader one space down the reputation track, swapping with the gang leader below. Then remove any defeat tokens, but leave the gang tile out. You'll fight that gang again in the next fight. Whether you won or lost the fight, all players flip their weapon cards face up again. Then, remove any defeat tokens from the location tile and remove it from the game. In future fights, you'll place the location tile face up on the bottom of the stack instead of removing it. Don't reveal a new location tile yet. It won't be revealed until the next fight phase. After a fight, you'll play the city phase. The player with the instigator token takes the first turn and players continue taking turns until someone is challenged to a fight. On each turn, you'll either rest or move toward Coney Island. You can move to any unoccupied space in your neighborhood or the next neighborhood, as long as it's not past a fight token. If you rest, return all the cards in your discard pile to your hand, then remove a random card in your hand from the game. If you move, take the action on the space you move to. The actions are, return a card from your discard pile to your hand, take a war card from the row, there's no limit to the number of war cards in your hand. Take a weapon card from the row. You can only have two weapon cards at a time. A Molotov is wild and can be used as any weapon, but the first time you use it, it's removed from the game. Don't do anything, but you also don't have to reveal any bopper cards on this turn. You can't move past a fight token. To get to Coney Island, someone must stop at each fight token on the board. When you stop at a fight token, remove it from the board. Then, you're challenged to a fight. 
which we'll explain in a moment. After resting or moving, reveal bopper cards from the deck, one at a time. If you rested or moved to a brown regular space, reveal one bopper card. If you move to a red threatening space, reveal two bopper cards. If you move to a yellow subway space or a fight token, you don't reveal any. Bopper cards should be revealed one at a time. If you reveal a coast is clear card, nothing happens. Place it in the bopper discard pile. If you reveal any other bopper card, it's a threat. Place it face up in front of you. The first two times you get a threat, you can ignore it. After revealing bopper cards, if you haven't been challenged to a fight, it's the next player's turn. But if you place a third threat in front of you, you suffer the penalty on the card, including being challenged to a fight. If you were challenged to a fight, secretly look at the top location in the stack. Without communicating with the other players, choose whether to fight or run. If you choose to fight, reveal the location tile, take the instigator token, and begin a new fight phase. If you choose to run, the city phase continues with the next player's turn. But first, place the location tile face up on the bottom of the stack and place one bottle token on the board. Then, move the warrior's gang leader one space down the reputation track for each bottle on the board. After choosing whether to fight or run, shuffle the three threats and any cards in the bopper discard pile back into the bopper deck. During the game, if the warrior's gang leader ever needs to move down the reputation track when it's already on the bottom space, the players lose. If all players make it to Coney Island, they need to win one final showdown to win the game. The last player to reach Coney Island takes the instigator token and sets up the fight. In the final showdown, you use the gang tile for the rival gang that's highest on the reputation track and the Coney Island location tile. If the players can cover both spots on the gang tile, one spot on the location tile for each player, and an additional reputation spot for each gang that's higher than the warriors on the reputation track, then the players win. Can you dig it?